<laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is Pastor Manny. I'm here with Pastor Josh, and uh, we are excited to be with you for the first ever uh, Teaching Talking Points. I don't know if that's a good name or not. Did it's it's a, a litter, so do yeah. You, do you think there, would you have an idea for a different name? I feel like I have to say I'm, like I'm this. almost uh, Wednesdays with Manny, but yeah, Wednes- no. Wednesdays <laughs> with Manny. Except this might show on Thursday and Tuesday that's because that's fine. They're, that's, they're days that start with T. Yeah. All right. Well, I am excited to be here today. This is the first one. I have no idea what you are going to see prior to what we just said, but we're going to try <laughs> to create some video for you uh, to help you navigate through our small groups, but also we want you to engage in, in Bible. That's one of our, our goals here at the church. And so this series is really cool. It's Grow Series. Pastor Josh helped to write this, and we are lucky enough to have a wonderful devotional. And uh, this is a way for you to interact with small groups either online or or on campus, and go through the scriptures. Now, we are in a massive study that's going to take us through several months, and we're going to do many many series with it. And this mini series we're in now is Grow. And Grow is really based around 1 Peter, uh, the last half of 1 Peter chapter 1, and the first half of 1 Peter chapter 2. Yeah. And so take us a little bit behind. Give it kind of like, like the summary. If you were to give an overview of this entire series, Pastor Josh, what, what would it be? So I think the idea is coming off of our, our look at salvation and new life, uh, what does it look like for a believer to practice that faith and then especially um, both individually and corporately uh, to grow into the maturity of Jesus Christ? So kind of what are the marks of a Christian in today's culture? Uh, so we've already kind of looked at preparing our minds and, and acting out on that faith. And then what are going to be some areas that we, we act in and a mature Christian would be seen doing these uh, time and again? And then how do we work together in those? Now, based off what you just said, I think we should have done the title, Leave a Mark, or That'll Leave a Mark. Yeah, I didn't want Mark Dever to get upset. Oh, okay, so, yeah, yeah. that would have been that would have been good. Um, but I do like Grow. One of the things I, I like about Grow and how you use this and, and hey, even how you said it, it's, it, you use that phrase, like we're maturing into Christ. Mm-hmm. What, what does that mean? Like you're maturing into Christ. How would you, how would you explain that to someone who has never thought about that or, or been entangled with corporate language before? So I think what we, we see in Scripture is that we are born into a sinful nature. So we mm-hmm. have that old man uh, kind of mentality. Uh, so we, we make decisions. Uh, reference Romans says we're enslaved to sin. So our actions, our mind is, is dulled and darkened. Uh, we're even dead in trespasses and sin. So as we gain new life in Jesus Christ, the scripture says we put off that old man, put off that Mm -hmm. old nature and put on a new nature that is new life given to us by God. And we're called to become more and more like the person of Jesus Christ. So Mm -hmm. he's the archetype. He's the the firstborn, the model that we're following after. So if there's somebody we're supposed to model our life after, it's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that means... Our, our thought pattern, our actions, how we interact with the world around us and the very uh, actions and calling we do day by day, uh, we're to be more and more like Jesus Christ. So mm-hmm. growing into uh, that idea uh, and hopefully eventually getting to glory. Yeah, I, I love what you say that. In fact, one of our uh, key points is that we are becoming, you know, and so this idea mm-hmm. that we are becoming like Christ and so we should be evidences of of that becoming, and so I, I like how you're tagging that in there, and 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 working mature now. You're what I think is the the key point for this entire series is this week because it, it talks about an October fourth. So if you're just picking this up some other time, it's October fourth, two thousand twenty, mm-hmm. and uh, the idea is really that we are growing in love. Yeah. Right. So so unpack that for us a little bit, and how would you kind of share that if you were teaching a class? Well, I think um, if we're looking at what we want to get from the the group, um, as with most scripture. There's there's a d- bunch of different things that we could unpack here. Uh, you could hit on obedience again. You could hit on uh, you know perspective and motivation, and there's some of that in there. But I think uh, we want to see a focus on that idea of love being generated uh, from the new life as we've been shown love, uh, as that grows in us, 
uh, from what God has given to us, that's supposed to then be poured out and shared with others. Mm -hmm. uh, so especially as we're doing this individually, we want to see love be a binder uh, between the brothers and sisters in Christ. So within the church, within your group, we want to have uh, that expectation that we're living out in some manner uh, love with one another and that's going to build fellowship and unity. And I think uh, for me this week, and, and seeing just kind of where we're at in our society, in our world right now, mm -hmm. uh, I definitely want to push towards uh, love and unity being uh, a big focus of discussion uh, this week, just because that is going to be the biggest witness. That's going to be uh, one of the things that has the most effect mm -hmm. on displaying that uh, the church and what is happening in the church is different from the world around us. Mm -hmm. uh, we can be coming from different backgrounds. We can have some different ideologies uh, and still be unified and care for one another and not just screaming at one another. That's good. And, you know, That's good. Yeah. Uh, throwing like, stuff. Like, like if you watch the debates, you saw two opposing ideologies, but you saw people that had no care or concern for one another. Absolutely. Either. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we can have, uh, being Christians, we can have opposing. So vote libertarian. No, yeah. <laughs> we can uh, have, yeah. <laughs> vote a uh, Green Party, right? Vote according to whatever scripture says. That's we'll right. go that way. Right. So uh, what, what, uh, one of the things that, that this kind of basis upon it really points in that direction that, that there's a perishable and there's an imperishable. Mm -hmm. And again, we see this new Testament author, which is Peter mm -hmm. kind of like Paul, how he talks about the flesh and the spirit here. He talks about the perishable and imperishable. And it kind of puts it in perspective of as we're, we're submitting, as we're obeying, as we're following Christ, as we're growing in love in, in the person of Jesus Christ, as we're doing that, what we see happen is the perishable is falling away and the imperishable is growing. So, yeah. so, that process there, and I, I like this um, this quote that, that he gives from the Old Testament. It says, all flesh is like grass, and its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower fall off, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Connect for me this idea of the word of the Lord and how we're asking people to put something into them mm -hmm. and how that is actually the, the thing that's producing the maturing or the, the, the growing. As we, I think... When we think about the, the Word of God, we're absolutely thinking about something that's living and active, as Scripture testifies to itself on that, but also very powerful. Uh, mm -hmm. We can go back all the way to the Genesis account. What initiates creation of everything that is? It's the Word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we are thinking about life in us that's being manifested from the Word of God, uh, that's something that will absolutely change us and impact who we are, what we are, and what we're doing. Uh, so that's going to move us out of uh, that sinful mindset and temporary mindset. And I think one of the things that I've always harped on there is our perspective. Uh, you know, if, if we're stuck and mired in sin, it's really, what am I doing right now? Mm -hmm. uh, wh what's going to you know, satisfy me most? What is going to best feed my desires? But if we're looking at this idea, it's saying, okay, you're a flower that's here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, you know, it parallels James with our life is a mist. Uh, so we want to kind of have that perspective that life is uh, eternal if we're in Jesus Christ. And what we're going through in this moment needs to be grounded on and driven by the Word of God mm -hmm. as opposed to our own desires. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So uh, as you're teaching that this week, one of the things that you want to jump in on, or if you're learning this on your own because you've got the pamphlet and you really don't have a group, you don't feel comfortable coming back, uh, one of the things that you really want to do is begin to give per perspective. How are you applying the Word of God to your life? How is that leading you towards uh, submission? How is that leading you towards obedience? Uh, if you find a big chasm between the, your knowledge of the Word of God and your life and how your life looks and how it doesn't look like Christ, that's a big like ding, 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 ding. Maybe there's something that needs to change and you need to adjust. And especially if you're growing around this idea of unity or love or or, or connection, like you're, you're having a hard time going and being with, with your brothers and sisters in Christ, you're having a hard time being with this world, that's something you need to look at because the Bible really encourages us to be people that are different so that we're bringing people into to the, the knowledge of Jesus Christ, into the gospel. And so we want to encourage you to, to reflect what you're reading and how the Word is working on your life. Is there anything else that you want to grab or something you want to make sure that, that our audience knows about before we hit there on Sunday? Uh, just that I think... Love has to be a, a driver right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
there's disagreements, there's different viewpoints, there's, there's different personalities that make up the church, and that's by design. Mm -hmm. uh, we are called to, to reach any and all people. We're to go into all of the world and, and share the gospel. And if uh, we can't even get along with one another, uh, mm -hmm. then we're failing in our mission as a church and the calling in our life. Yeah. Uh, so seeing that as a priority, uh, one, instructed by scripture, but just uh, as something as followers of Christ that we need to do, uh, you know, that's, that's not easy. And, and this isn't going to necessarily be an easy week to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, but having that as something that is in the forefront of our minds as we see opportunities to lay that out. Cool. Thank you. Well, that's the word, and uh, we are glad uh, that you tuned in. We appreciate you watching, and uh, we want to encourage you to share this video. Also, uh, be a part of a small group on Sunday. If you're not sure where to, uh, to go, uh, when you check in, just let the attendant know that you'd like to participate in a small group, and then at the end of the service, we'll make sure we get, you get connected in. Worship starts at 10 o'clock, and we'd love to have you here. We're doing each week. If you're online, you can still participate in small groups. Uh, just contact us and let us know how, or you can just use the material on your own. But we're certainly glad that you're you're following along. We're certainly glad you're participating. And we hope that you're reading uh, devotional and you're reading First Peter as we move along in this discussion so that the Word does change us and, and challenge us. All right? So hopefully you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you on another video. Actually, we won't see you because you can't see through the camera. Tune in next time.